Okay, so I feel like I'm melting. We're going through a little bit of a heat wave here. We got up to 100 degrees today, <laughs> 35 Celsius, probably close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and oh my gosh. And right now it is almost, I think, 9.30 at night, and I'm all like tucked in, which I think when it's this hot, I don't want to come to bed <laughs> this early, because we're, we're, sorry, we're a little hot, we're a little hot in here. But um, it's still 20 degrees. It's 9.30 and it's still 20 degrees, which is what? It's about 80? No, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my gosh. I. But you know what? I have a nightly routine that's going to cool me down. I take a whole bunch of like face wipes and baby wipes and I wipe, I wipe down everything and that kind of cools me off for a few minutes. But look at this. So last year... That's all I used was that little itty bitty fan and I survived, but there were some really uncomfortable nights. But my girlfriend gave me this big bad boy and man, it can go, there's four different speeds. Heck yeah, baby. I have a hard time charging it right now. So I, I, as good as that feels, I only leave it on two because I think what I was reading is on two I get 36 hours. I try to charge it during the day, obviously, but she was so sweet. Love that. Anyway, we have one more day, I think tomorrow, of really, really hot weather, and then it's going to cool down by, I think, about 5 to 8 degrees. Whew, thank goodness. Anyway, I'm going to go chill out. I'm going to wipe my face, brush my teeth, do all my business. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Oh, it's going to be another hot one today. <laughs> it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning and we're already hitting 22 Celsius. Mm -mm -mm. I am going to drink some of my coffee and once the morning traffic kind of dies down, I'm going to head to the rec center, get a shower in. And then we're going to work and see what happens and see if we can get through the day without literally melting into a pile of mush on the ground. Because, you know, there's that. Okay, all freshened up. We got a cool breeze. You know, today won't be so bad if this breeze stays. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Anyway. I'm only logged on to Instacart. It's Tuesday. I'm hoping to make some money because I've had a few days off. I don't know if you saw the community post, but over the weekend, I really tweaked my back. I was overtired and not paying attention when I was lifting heavy things and, uh, ow, and it really did me in. But lucky for me, I had some naproxen, which is a anti-inflammatory slash pain medic, like uh, ibuprofen. And I went over to my friend's place and put some ice on it and it healed up quite nicely. Thank you very much. And I just realized that today is the 9th. That means I have officially been in car dwelling van life for one year. Today is my one year anniversary. And I know I was doing a little mini series on what it was like over the last year. But the next video I was going to put out was about the community and the people that I've met, but, but no one's around because, you know, it's summer and people are off doing adventures and I can't do that. 
I stay local because um, I have to work. I have to work. And hopefully we can get some money today because, uh, yeah, we're a little bit behind, but that's okay. I'm staying positive and things will all be good. I found some nice shade. Like I said, the breeze is coming in. What is the temperature right now? Let me just turn on the little wagon. It is, oh, 28. We're up to 28. So I think good, good times, good times. We'll see what the day brings and hopefully we can make, uh, I want to at least make a hundred bucks today. That is my goal. Oh my goodness. I just got an Instacart. It was $38 and only going like right up the road to customers, but I'm picking up four bags of soil. What? I can't even, but we're going to go get this done because it's like close to $40 in the bank and I needed to use the restroom too. So I'll go shop get all this soil. Do I even have room for four bags of soil? I don't know. I'll figure it out. And then, yeah. Soil? Come on now. $40. I lost my spot in the shade, but I managed to find this little one. So we're doing good. Now I need to go clean out my back because there's probably dirt everywhere. Potting soil? Really? Not too bad. More leaves than anything else. I might as well just take these off. These don't stay for nothing. Okay, all nice and clean. Have a very important decision to make <laughs> this is like one of those decisions that's just you know life altering so I want a coffee it's early afternoon and it's my time to go get my second cup of coffee but I found shade so do I go get coffee and potentially lose my shade or do I keep the shade and the nice breeze and skip the coffee Oh my word, I don't know what to do. This is like, this is a huge decision in my life right now. Huge. Massive. Okay, I managed to get my spot back. But it was a little bit of a situation because this jack nugget in front of me um, decides to take up all four spaces. And I'm like, really there, buds? Really? Four spaces? But I just kind of snuck my way in because, yeah, I'm that person. I can fit 
even though I'm in a minivan, <laughs> I was able to fit. And uh, I was I was gonna show you, but he's in his car now, and he's leaving. Like he literally took out four spots. I'm like, bud, the entitlement is real, man. The entitlement is real. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> cheers. Okay, well, I hope I make a little bit more than forty dollars. But and yes, I do drink hot coffee when it's thirty-five degrees outside. I am that person. The hot coffee just goes right into my soul and just makes me happy. And so, yeah, I drink hot coffee when it's 35 degrees out. But I also drink a lot of water too because I am very susceptible to getting heat stroke, sunstroke. So I try to stay under the sun as much as I can. Also, I totally forgot to mention, and I will be doing a van tour. I have things that I need to still install and do in my van. This is just a temporary setup, so I don't really want to give a tour. Do you want a tour? Let me know. Because if you want a tour of the way it is now, I will do that for sure. But it's just not done because it's just it's just too hot to be drilling and sawing and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, the name for this van, because it's a boy and his name is Bobby. His name is Bobby McGee. And you're probably going Chris. And I'm like, I know. I know. I'm fully aware. Listen, that song means a lot to me and I'm not going to get into details or whatever, but that is like one of my all time favorite songs and it has a whole lot of meaning to it for me. And yeah, so Bobby McGee, I know, I know. Anyway, could you put out some prayers and keep your fingers crossed because I have three people. Look, remember when I bought this van, it had a wheelchair lift in it. So I still have it for sale. It's a very, very small market that's looking, so I didn't expect it to sell fast. But keep your fingers crossed, because I have three people interested in it right now, or not interested, but you know they're thinking about it and doing some research to see if it'll fit in their vehicle. Anyway, I'm trying to sell it. And trust and believe, if I sell that thing, the first thing I'm doing, well, besides paying a couple bills, because you know we're a little behind, but the first thing I'm doing after I'm paying the bills is I'm buying a DC to DC charger. Oh my gosh, because to have cold water or some cold food right now would be phenomenal. Phenomenal. So that'll be the very first thing that I buy. And uh, my friend just bought a new truck and it has 100 watt solar panels on it. And she does not want them. She needs bigger solar panels. So she says, if they still work, would you like them? Ha yes, please. Hello, because that would be a lifesaver too. Because even if I had 200 watt solar panels, I could hook that up to my battery, keep that nice and charged and be able to plug in my fridge. I miss my fridge so much. I miss it, but I'm just literally not driving around near enough to keep that thing fully charged. But yeah, so that's the plan. The, we got we got a lot of things coming. We got we got anyway prayers, fingers crossed, positive vibes. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm gonna go. Drink. Okay. Yes, I'm still sitting here. I'm starting to slowly melt. <laughs> it is so hot. I don't even know why I even thought I would be okay putting on a little bit of makeup today because it's not okay. And I also went into the back because I have a video to edit. I have a sponsored video coming up and I wanted to get some editing done, but it's just way too hot back there. I just, I was just like, as soon as I went back there, like it was just dripping. Dri I'm so glad I showered this morning because I feel so refreshed, not it's hot. And trust and belief, trust and belief. If I didn't have to work my booty off, not that there's any work coming in, but if I didn't have to sit here and try to work, we would be down, oh, there's one. Oh, I'm so not doing that. 27 kilometers for 20 bucks. Thank you, no. Um, I would be sitting way closer to the, oh, that breeze feels so good. <sighs> that breeze comes about once an hour and it is like amazing. Anyway, I would be definitely sitting closer to the ocean because it's about 10 degrees cooler down there. Oh my gosh, I just, there's nothing better than that breeze when it comes. It's, it's not, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, it feels so 
so good. Anyway, I do have some water in the back and I've been, you know, cooling myself and stuff every once in a while. It really doesn't help. But um, yeah, so we're not sitting by the ocean because I have to work. I'm trying to work. I need to make more than $40 and it's hot and I can't go edit my video because um, it's just too hot back there and I don't really have room up here to do it. I need a little, if I had a little stand, how can we do that? I had a little stand. I could sit right here and do it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. One thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. Anyway, I was just touching base because I'm sitting here melting and it's, um, it's a lot. Tomorrow's supposed to be five degrees cooler. Here's hoping. Here is hoping. Okay, I managed to get some editing done. I got the laptop like angled at a weird whatever to get some stuff done. Anyway, I'm going into Superstore right now to pick up some dinner because I just don't have it in me to cook. And I know I said a week ago, <laughs> ambulance. I know I said a week ago that I wasn't going to be eating out, but this isn't really eating. This isn't fast food or anything. I'm just going to go buy something really cheap because I just do not have it in me to turn on my butane stove and everything I have in my little cupboard has to be cooked. So let's go find a sandwich or something. Oh, well, they really don't have a lot and what they do have needs to be warmed up except for this falafel and pita. I may grab that. Let's go see if they have anything else. They have some sushi for $7.50 on sale. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do I want sushi or do I want the cheese and grapes? I really liked that last time I got it. I really want the one with the meat, but I'm not paying $16. Should I have spent $8 on dinner after only making $40 today when I'm like, you know, trying to play catch up here? Probably not. Do I care right now when I'm like overtired and overheated? Probably not. So, it is what it is. Okay, you know what? Why is my seat so far back? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I really need a vacation. I mean, I can't afford my life right now, never mind a vacation, but I really need a vacation. I was starving. I only had a banana and coffee, so I was famished. So I went, you saw, I went to the superstore to grab some sushi. I was going to get that cheese tray. I really like that cheese tray, but I just couldn't, I don't know, that just seemed like an awful lot of cheese right now when it's this hot and... Ugh. Anyway, I feel a thousand times better because I have something in my belly, but as I was walking away, I locked the door and as I got halfway to Superstore, I even like double checked. I locked it again. And so I went in, I was, oh, bright light, bright light. I was piddling around and looking at the sushi, the lack of sandwiches thereof, and then the cheese, and then back to the sushi, and then I had to stand in line. You know, I was in there a minute or two. Okay, maybe more than a minute. Anyway, I get back to my van and eating my sushi, and I'm, who am I kidding? I like scarfed it down, I was so hungry. Anyway, I went to go turn on the van because I'm leaving, because I'm going to go to another location and the whole time my side door was open <laughs> wide open wide open there's tablets phones laptops my whole life in here and i just piddled around the store with a van door wide open i need a chaperone <laughs> i need a taking applications for chaperones come on now i am losing my ever loving this heat I can't even. I'm like, I'm, I'm losing it. Losing it. I mean, on the plus side, it's down to 34, so we've dropped a degree. 
I mean, that's a good thing, right? 